this is SARS-CoV-2. This is what's, this is how humbling this is. Like this, this, this little bit of virus, there's about a million viruses in this little tiny tube. You probably don't think much of what happens after you flush, but to Dr. Fidopiasis of the biology department, it might hold the key to keeping students safe on campus. Dr. Fidopiastis runs the wastewater testing lab that uses your poop to detect the coronavirus. It's a good companion piece to the saliva, and that's that's like I explained to you before why why I think we're gonna why we're continuing with it because it's a way to support the saliva you know operation and be able to say okay this dorm tested positive and maybe they can jump in line you know to get the saliva test because that was a big number of, right. of tests. Although it's testing a much different sample, the test runs the same way as the saliva test, isolating coronavirus RNA and then rapidly multiplying it to make it detectable, except with added steps to get rid of the other waste. Sample right here, an aliquot of this sample became this, pure RNA. <laughs> And then, and then uh, I take a, I take an aliquot of this. I take an aliquot of this RNA, and then I put it into my uh, PCR, my, you know, to to amplify, and detect. And so again, provided that there is a, provided that there is a, uh, you know, viral RNA present, this machine will let me know. <laughs> Currently, there are five sites which cover most of the on-campus housing. However, not enough coverage to pin down an outbreak to a single dorm from one machine. Two manholes that serve, for example, Poly Canyon Village. Right. You've got a manhole and Poly Canyon Village. So you're talking hundreds of students. If we get a positive that's above the 100,000 per liter threshold, rather than say, okay, all you thousand students or whatever saliva test, what I can do is then step up the stream a little bit. Now there's two manholes that cover this half of the dorm and that half of the dorm. Now I've effectively halved the population size. And so now I, I'll, I'll, I, can, I can test both of those. And then I can say, okay, this one's 400 and this one's zero. Now I know that somebody right. over on this side's got it and I can go in that direction. Mm -hmm. And this technology has uses beyond the coronavirus. The new machines are already being incorporated into Dr. Fidopiastis' classes. But this is more practical in real world, and that's why I love it for these opportunities that the students are having to, to be able to, you know, tackle a timely problem like this and, 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 you know, provide data that could potentially be instrumental in helping. I think that's an awesome aspect of this.